ZipRecruiter makes an acquisition, but earnings are flat. All that and more next on This Week in RecTech. What's up, Reg Tech? Here's what's in the news this week. First up, we got some uh, new funding announcements. We'll start with those. Uh, at Raleigh, North Carolina, CloudPay, a leading independent provider of global payroll and payment solutions, announced the closing of a $120 million funding round led by Blue Owl Capital with participation of existing uh, shareholders. The funding further strengthens CloudPay's capital base and provides flexibility for future growth. With a 30-year history of success, it says CloudPay has built a world-class customer base, collaborating with over 280 corporate clients, taking care of their payroll and payment needs in more than 130 countries. The funding will allow strengthening of their uh, customer product and technology solutions, such as deploying AI within data management, automating and scaling processes, and improving connectivity via a comprehensive set of API solutions that connect uh, connecting partners of its global payroll, payment, and HCM ecosystem. Quote, global payroll is a growing market, providing tremendous opportunities for cloud pay, and this funding gives us the flexibility to accelerate our journey, said Dr. Roland Foles, CEO of cloud pay. Our focus on payroll and payment offerings resonates very well with our esteemed global clientele. With the support of Blue Owl Capital, we are strengthening our capital base while continuing to invest in our state-of-the-art solutions for global organizations and their employees. Tezi, uh, T-E-Z-I, an AI-powered recruiting startup based in Menlo Park, California, has secured $9 million in seed funding led by 8, uh, 8VC and Audacious Ventures. The company plans to utilize the investment to accelerate product development and expand operations ahead of its anticipated fall 2024 launch. The startup is developing something called Max, an autonomous AI recruiter capable of fully automating the hiring process. Max handles everything from scheduling complex interviews to sourcing top talent from a global, a global database of 750 million candidates. The AI platform also screens applicants, ranks them, and communicates with hiring managers and candidates through natural language inter- interactions. By setting up a role once, Max independently manages the entire recruiting process, delivering qualified candidates for interviews within days. There is currently a wait list to use it. Out of Chicago, when an AI-powered offboarding solution designed to help employees navigate post-employment transitions and maintain access to health care by offering more affordable alternatives to COBRA, announced it's closed uh, its latest seed funding of $4.6 million, led by B Capital. The new infusion of capital, combined with WEN's initial $2.4 million round, brings the company's total amount raised to $7 million. WEN will use this funding to expand its platforms, AI capabilities, add new offerings and to its post-employment marketplace and grow its customer base. All right, now on to ZipRecruiter. They announced financial results for the quarter ending uh, June 30th, 2024. Quarterly revenue came in at $123.7 million, and that's a net income of $7 million for the quarter. Quote, ZipRecruiter's flexible financial model has allowed us to maintain a robust balance sheet during this prolonged labor market downturn. We're continuing to invest in product and technology initiatives, which we believe will bear significant fruit in years to come, said Ian Siegel, CEO. The current business is incredibly exciting as we continue to win job secure traffic and are energized by our product innovations. We have a strong conviction that ZipRecruiter will further disrupt the recruitment industry in coming years, fundamentally changing how employers and job seekers interact. So uh, ZipRecruiter earned $122 million in quarter one, so they seem to be plateauing here as far as sales go. Uh, for comparison, Upwork just announced their earnings. They came in about 193, so they're uh, they're essentially bigger than ZipRecruiter at this point. Um, and ZipRecruiter also increased their uh, earnings per employee, which I think is something that the uh, investors want to see. So they're probably going to come in at around uh, 4 and 50 million dollars for the year. So we'll see how they do there. And that's basically good. that takes them back to like 2021 earnings as far as just how far they've fallen and how big that bump was during uh, post-COVID. The company ZipRecruiter also announced it's acquired Breakroom, a UK-based employer review platform focused on frontline industries such as retail and hospitality. So who did they indeed buy? They bought Glassdoor uh, years ago. ZipRecruiter now has their own employer review platform. In line with its mission to actively connect the job seekers with their next great opportunity, ZipRecruiter plans to launch Breakroom in the U.S. 
to empower workers with the job insights they need to apply with confidence. Breakroom will continue to operate as an independent brand, the press release says. Breakroom collects data from frontline workers on pay, hours, flexibility, work conditions, culture, and more to provide community power ratings for jobs. So here's how they say it's different. Well, I quote, while traditional employer review sites have predominantly become places where workers go to voice their job dis- uh, dissatisfaction, Breakroom collects insights about what they day-to-day is like working for different companies, said Ian Siegel, founder and CEO. Breakroom's ratings give job seekers a clear picture of what it's really like to work for an employer, setting better expectations than a traditional job description. We know that when job seekers better understand the roles they're applying for, it leads to better outcomes for both sides of our marketplace. Breakroom launched in 2020, also supports employers in their efforts to create good jobs by providing employer branding and insights, recruitment marketing tools, and quality candidate sourcing. That's it for this week. For all these stories and more, go to hrtechfeed.com. For Rec Tech Media, I'm Chris Russell reporting. Thanks for listening. Looking for your next HR technology role? Go to your browser, type in hrtechjob.com, and browse hundreds of jobs with the best HR technology vendors. HR tech professionals finally have a dedicated job marketplace to find work or be found. Sign up for job alerts or post a resume. Discover jobs with companies like Workday, Phenom, HiBob, Deal, and more. You'll even find HR tech roles with employers in case you want to work with managing HCM or HRIS platforms. HR Tech Job, the only job market for HR technology careers. Join us at hrtechjob.com.